Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sharkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about state space analysis example two by direct decomposition technique. This is lecture series on state space analysis lecture 11. So our topics, state space analysis example two. What is the example two? Obtain the state space equations along with state diagram and signal flow graph of the third order equations. This is the third order differential equation. A into D3 yt by DT3 plus B into D2 yt by DT2 plus C into D yt by DT plus D into y of t equals to E of t where u of t equals to input, this is reference input. This reference input may be step, ramp, parabolic, impulse, sinusoidal, any type of input you can apply. And this is the output y of t. This output position, this is position because only y of t. But when rate of change of y of t, dyt by dt, this is velocity. Again, rate of change of then d2 yt by dt2, this is the acceleration. So output changes from position to velocity and velocity to acceleration and acceleration to higher order. That's why y of t equals to one state variable and dyt by dt2 equals to another state variable and second order equals to another state variable third order equals to another state variable, state variable. So solution, the given equation can be written as, this is the equation number one. So A into D2, D3 yt by DT3 plus B into D2 yt by DT2 plus C into dy of t by DT plus D into y of t equals to u of t. This is equation number one and put y of t equals to state variable. y of t equals to st state variable. So next step, step number one, taking the state variables, y of t equals to what? y of t equals to x1, differentiating both sides. And we get left hand side dyt by dt, that means y dot t equals to x1 dot equals to x2. Again, differentiate both sides. Then d2 yt by dt2 equals to y double dot t equals to x1 double dot equals to x2 dot equals to another state variable x3. So x2 dot equals to x3. And again, differentiate both sides and we get d3 yt by dt3 equals to y triple dot equals to x1 triple dot equals to x2 double dot equals to x3 dot, x3 dot. So put substituting the values of in equation one, we get, this is our equation number one, put y of t, y of t equals to what? y of t equals to first state variable x1 and dy of t by dt equals to what? x2. d2y of t by dt2 equals to d2yt by dt2 equals to x3. So put here x3 plus a into d3yt by dt3. This is equivalent to x3 dot. So put and we get a into x3 dot, this is equals to x3 dot plus b into x3, this is equivalent to x3 plus c into x2, this is x2, dyt by dt equals to x2 and d into x1, y of t equals to x1 equals to ut. This is the state equation. So finally, x3 dot equals to minus d by a x1 minus B, C by A X2 minus B by A X3 plus one by A U of T. This is the state equations because left-hand side only derivative terms. This is the X3 dot only differentiation term left-hand side and free of differentiation term right-hand side. That's why this type of equation is called state equation. So the state space equations can be represented as follows. What is the x1? x1 dot equals to only x2. And x2 dot equals to what? Only x3. 
and x3 dot equals to already proved minus d by x1 minus c by a x2 minus b by x3 plus 1 by a u of t. This is our x1 dot equals to 0 into x1 plus 1 into x2 plus 0 into x3 plus 0 into u of t x2 dot equals to 0 into x1 plus 0 into x2 plus 1 into x3 plus 0 into u t x3 dot equals to this and step 4 the state space matrix can be written as follows what is the state matrix what is the state matrix left hand side x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot this is x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot and right hand side 0 1 0 0 1 0 coefficient 0 0 1 coefficients 0 0 1 coefficients minus d by a minus c by a minus b by a coefficients and x1 x2 x3 0 0 1 by a 0 0 1 by a into u of t first equation x1 dot x1 dot equals to what 0 into x1 0 into x1 plus 1 into x2 1 into x2 plus 0 into x3 0 into x3 0 into x3 plus 0 into u of t this is the first equation third equation x3 dot equals to minus d by a to x1 x dot equals to minus d by a into x1 minus c by a into x2 minus c by a into x2 minus b by a into x3 plus 1 by a into u of t 1 by a into u of t this is equivalent to x dot equals to x plus b u this is equivalent to x dot equals to x plus v u state equation where x dot equals to this matrix x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot and a equals to 0 1 0 0 0 1 minus d by a minus c by a minus b by a and x equals to x1 x2 x3 and b equals to 0 0 1 by a and u equals to u of t so A is a constant system matrix of order n cross n. B is the input coupling matrix of order n cross R. And U is the input reference input matrix and, with, and R cross 1 is the dimension. That means x dot equals to x plus B is called the state equation. Again, y equals to cx plus du. This is the output equation and where y is the m cross 1 output vector matrix and c is the m cross n system matrix d is the m cross r transmission matrix and y equals to cx plus du is called the output equation here m equals to 1 so the output equation y t equals to what y t equals to x1 y t equals to x1 output y t equals to x1 that means y t equals to 1 into x1 plus 0 into x2, 0 into x3. That means 1, 0, 0, x1, x2, x3. This is the C matrix. This is the C matrix and this is the X matrix. And this condition D equals to null or D equals to 0. Now comparing with equation 3 and 4, we get A equals to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 minus D by A, C by A minus C by A minus B by A and B equals to 0, 0. 1 by a again comparing with the equation 5 and 6 we get c equals to 1 0 0 where d equals to null matrix then y equals to only cx y equals to only cx because d equals to 0 that's why only cx then step number 6 state diagram so first equation x1 dot equals to x2 Second equation x2 dot equals to x3 and third equals to minus d by x1 minus c by x2 minus b by x3 plus 1 by a into ut. So this is the third order system. So first put t summing point, summing point 1, summing point 2, summing point 3. For third order system, put 3 integration, integration 1, integration 2, integration 3. And this is the reference input ut and this is a final output y of t. So first, last equation, x3 dot, x3 dot equals to what? Minus d by x1 minus c by x2 minus b by a x3 plus 1 by a u of t. And u of t equals to what? 1 by a. So put here 1 by a into u of t. This signal, 1 by a into u of t. And this position, x3 dot, x3 dot equals to, this is the value. This is the value x3 dot. So prove x3 dot 
x t dot equals to what u of t one by a. This is the forward path, so this is complete. Again, x t dot integrate. This is x two dot, and x two dot equals to what x t. So x t coefficient equals to what x t coefficient equals to minus v by a. So minus v by a into x t minus minus v by a into x t, and x two dot integrate. This is x one dot. X one dot equals to x two, and x two coefficient minus c by a. So x two into minus c by a. This is minus feedback. X two into minus c by a. Complete and x one dot integrate. Then x one. X one equals to again y of t. So y of t. This is x one minus d by a into x one. This is minus d by a into x one. So minus d by a x one. This part minus d by a into x one. Minus c by a into x two minus b by a into x three plus v one by a into u t. So this signal equals to x t dot and x t dot equals to this. Then what is the signal flow graph? This is the first comparator, second comparator, third comparator. This is first integration, second integration, third integration. So integration one by s, second integration one by s, third integration one by s. First, first feedback path minus b by a. Second feedback path minus c by a. Third feedback path minus d by a. And this is u of t equals to input, input, and final output y of t. And this is the gain one by a. This is the signal flow graph for a linear system model. Thank you.